Hey, praise the Lord, guys. How you doing? Amen. Amen. Well, tonight is our, as you know, some of you know, this is our, our night of worship. So we're going to do all worship tonight. And in the old days at Calvary Chapel, and we are at Calvary Chapel, in the old days, what we would do um, once or twice a month, maybe, was uh, we would do these things called afterglows. And where we would just worship the Lord. We would just worship and let the Lord do what he wanted to do with us. The Holy Spirit was prevalent. People were getting healed. People were speaking in unknown languages. Just like in uh, second or 1 Corinthians 12 through 14. And that's what we desire as a church here. We're at Calvary Chapel. And uh, me and Greg have talked about this numerous times about the fact that this is what we're trying to do tonight. So if we could, once we, once we get into this, if we could not maybe not clap when we get done, just kind of sit before the Lord and let, we're going to, but we're not going to go right into the next song. We're going to wait a little bit. So first thing I want you guys to do, go ahead and sit down. Okay? Go ahead and sit down. And the reason being is because we are, we are going to set this thing and we're going to set it up where if God puts something in your heart scripturally and you want to say it, go ahead. It's okay. We don't need sermons. We have Pastor Greg for that. So just, but if God puts a, a, a verse in your heart, please share it with us. If you have a word of encouragement, please share it. Just let the Holy Spirit do his work in your heart. And the reason being is because with the reason we, thank you, Patty, we're going to dim the lights a little bit. And it's just because we want all that God has for us. Amen? Mm-hmm. So it's, it does say one thing it does say in uh, 1 Corinthians when you do stuff like this. It's very imperative that this is done decently and in order. So we're not talking over one another. We're being respectful. And again, if it's a, a, a word of encouragement or a scripture, please, please feel free. If it's a word of a criticism or to be critical, please don't say that. We get enough of that through the day. I, I work in the world and I hear it all day long. We don't need that. So let's pray and we'll get started. So, Lord God, we thank you and we praise you for your Holy Spirit that's here with us right now. Your word says where two or three are gathered together in you, that you are here in the midst of us, Lord. So there's more than two or three that love you and that are here. And we ask in the name of Jesus that you would have your way tonight. Touch hearts. Touch spirits. Touch those that are really hurting. Touch those that have a physical ailment, Lord. And if it be your will, your perfect will, maybe you would heal them, Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen. If there be someone here that desires more and more of you, Lord, fill them with your Holy Spirit. Fill all of us, Lord. That's what we desire. So touch us and help us to keep our thoughts and our, our minds set on you, Lord. We love you. We praise you in Jesus' name. Miley, we're going to go off a script a little bit. Don't worry about finding the word. Just kind of hang out real quick. Then we'll go back into the what we're going to do with song one. Let me, maestro. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Let me hear it again. Oh, the blood of Jesus, it washes white as snow. Let's try it again. Oh, 
of Jesus. It washes his white as snow. So Lord, as we come before you now to worship and honor you, thank you for loving us. Thank you for the blood that does cover us, that forgives, we can seek forgiveness and your blood does cover that sin. So Lord, as we stand anew in front of you right now, as we go into the worship, be lifted and praised and help us, Lord, to just focus on your greatness. We love you, we praise you in Jesus' name.
King of kings and Lord of lords, and we magnify you, King of kings and Lord of lords. How majestic is your wonderful name.
said, fear not, for I am with you. Call to me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things which you do not know. Jeremiah 33, 3.
tree firmly planted I'll be grounded in your words. Let's try that one again. I will delight in the law of the Lord. I will meditate day and night. And like a tree firmly planted I'll be Father, thank you for speaking to us. You speak to us through your word. Now, the non-believer doesn't understand that. They call your word often a book of fairy tales or wishful thinking. Some even call it a nice booklet of poetry. But yet, Lord God, we know, we know it is your word, and you've been speaking to us tonight, and so thank you, Lord God, that you've given us enough wisdom to allow you to speak, plenty of room, Lord. And so we thank you for this night and you revealing yourself to us through your word and through the worship. We're grateful. Father God, we are a, an intimate group of men and women. We are men and women of faith. We're men and women that believe, Lord. So this night, tonight, Father God, as we prepare for communion, Let us inventory our hearts this evening. And when we see something that, some sort of behavior that is run amok, Lord, let us just immediately just simply turn from that, ask you for your forgiveness. 
and then come to the communion table, Lord, with confidence as you've invited us. As you've invited us into the most holy through the finished work of Jesus, and as we allow you, Holy Spirit, to convict us and Jesus cleanse us from whatever foolishness we're entertaining in our lives right now, once we turn from that, Lord God, we can then make our way to the communion table. So thank you, Father, for the opportunity. And again, giving you plenty of room to work. And if anyone's here tonight, Lord God, that doesn't know you as was spoken by your word this evening, John 14, 6, Jesus saying, I'm the way, the truth, and the life, and no one comes to the Father except through me. Well, Jesus, because you are the way, the truth, and the life, no one is to come to this communion table that doesn't have you as Savior. And so, Lord, if there's someone here tonight that needs you, Jesus, let them recognize that they fall short of your glory, Lord God, and they want to make amends with that. They recognize that they're wrong, and of course, you've been right the whole time. And as that person recognizes their shortcoming, they desire to turn from their sin and ask you, Jesus, to come into their life and be their Savior. As that's being accomplished right now, Lord God, that person then is definitely not only invited, but truly urged to come to the communion table and have that fellowship with you, Jesus. So we thank you. Because again, as you spoke tonight, Father God, you so loved the world that you gave. That's how you started our relationship. You started it by giving. And so let us acknowledge that. So once again, Lord, as we settle in again and are now invited to the communion table, Let us come and gather the elements and hold on to those elements, Lord. And once everyone is served, then we will partake together as a body of Christ, the body of Calvary Chapel, Harupa Valley. Thank you for this privilege. We take it very seriously. Praise you, Lord. Never runs out on me. Your love never fails, 
it never gives up, it never runs out of me. Your love never fails, it never gives up, it never runs out on me. Celebrate the communion table. Celebrate what Jesus has done for us, but yet we know that He is risen and ascended, and in that, we also know that through Scripture, we're promised there's healing in the blood. And tonight, Of course, as we do every day and every night, but tonight, very specifically and intentionally, we celebrate the blood. And in the blood, there's power. And by the stripes that Jesus received, there is healing in those stripes. And so tonight... We challenge each and every person here this evening, who is it that Jesus wants to touch tonight and heal? Oh, there's probably multiple people, but who has the courage to receive that healing tonight in the name of Jesus? Because there is power in the name of Jesus. And so as we take a moment once again and demonstrate ourselves as men and women of faith, Jesus, who is it that you want to heal tonight? Do you want to heal physically, Lord? Great. Do you want to to heal mentally, Lord? Great. Lord, we know you're here. We know you've been here the whole time, but I just ask you now, through your body, you reveal yourself through the body of Christ. As we take a time and settle in to your goodness.
And Father, as we consider the the bread and consider this element of the represent representing the beaten body of yours, Jesus, the creator of the universe. Hard to imagine that your creation would turn on you so brutally. But yet in in this representation with the bread, the broken bread, it represents the broken body, the beaten body, the mutilated body of our Savior, our loved one, Jesus Christ. And so as we partake in the bread tonight, we believe and we have faith and we know that by your stripes we are healed and so we partake this evening lord of the bread And once again, Lord, as we consider the juice, how you taught us, you taught us well. You taught us well through the apostles handing down the reality of what it truly is to consider the juice that once again is a representation of the blood that you offered unto the Father. Oh, behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. We recognize, Lord God, through the brilliant writings of the author of Hebrews as he explains the Old Testament sacrifices and then relates the sacrifice of Jesus our high priest which first who first whom you first became that perfect lamb Jesus and so that brilliant book of Hebrews making it so understandable to us Lord of what this representation the juice represents it represents our lives Lord our life in Jesus no longer the old men or women that we were at one time that's why we have been invited to this communion table Jesus to celebrate the newness the old man the old woman is dead We are now alive in the finished work of Christ. And so we celebrate that blood offering, Father God, that you accepted, you received wholeheartedly. And now we partake of the juice, the representation of the blood of the Lamb who washes away the sins of the world. If there be anybody in here who's fighting drugs, marijuana, pills, you need to repent of that right now. If there's anyone in here that's partaking of alcohol, you need to walk away from that right now. You need to give it to the Lord because he wants to heal you. There's absolutely no judgment on anyone who has a, is having this problem. There's no judgment whatsoever. But you need to bring it to him. You need to come up front. After service, come up front and pray, please. Like I said, there's no, 
there's no judgment, there's no badness, no bad feelings at all, but you need to repent because then you'll feel better. Psalm 32 said, blessed is the man whose sins are forgiven. I would ask in the name of Jesus that if you are struggling with drugs or alcohol, that you will come down and you will be prayed for. Please come down and pray. You need to pray. You need to give this to the Lord and let him start taking care of this. Desire, desire for anything that is not of you and is of me. I want more of you and less of me. Empty me.
Holy fire, holy fire, burn away, burn away, my desire, my desire, for anything that is not of you, and is of me, I want more of you, and less of me. guys. What a night, huh? Amen. Praise the Lord. I know, man. I praise God. God is good. Amen. Why don't we stand? Keep going with God. And those of you that want prayer afterwards, come on down. Please. Please come down. The Lord bless thee. The Lord bless thee. And keep thee. And keep thee. The Lord make his face to shine upon thee. The Lord bless thee. The Lord bless thee. And 
keep thee. And keep thee. The Lord made his face to shine upon thee. And be gracious unto thee. And be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up. The Lord lift up. His countenance. His countenance. Upon thee. And give thee peace. A couple things real quick. Praise the Lord, huh? What you felt tonight was, if you felt like you were sitting here and it's like, whoa, what is this? What's going on here? It's the power of the Holy Spirit. You might think, well, whoa, there was a lot of scripture said tonight. That's what this is all about. All these scriptures are to wash our minds, to clean, cleanse us from unrighteousness. And that's the best way to do it. Just like Pastor Greg said on wind, uh, last Sunday morning, he said, Put on the whole armor. When you're going to sleep, put on the whole armor. The whole armor, all of it. And walk in that. Because if you do, you're going to come out on top serving the Lord. Amen? Amen. Hey, God bless you guys. Have a great evening. Praise the Lord. We'll see you Sunday. Hi, everybody. Pastor Greg, Calvary Chapel, Harupa Valley. Hey, we're so glad that you've been enjoying the videos, and we just know that God has been touching you and just giving you a blessing through these teachings. But you know, we'd like to give you a challenge. Since this material is available, as you know, you can go to the website and pull these videos down, but we would like to challenge you. Since you're enjoying these teachings on a regular basis, we wanna challenge you, why not share these videos? You've got lots of friends on Facebook and so forth and social media. Why not inject the gospel message, the Bible teachings of, of the Lord into, into your share partners? It would be a great opportunity to maybe start a conversation, but we would really like you to be encouraged and consider passing these teachings on. We want people to be benefited, so let's allow the Lord to do what he would like to do. But in the meantime, we're so glad that you've been join, joining us and enjoying these teachings. They will continue to come as the Lord tarries. But again, enjoy, enjoy the Lord. Thank you so much, and continue to pray for Calvary Chapel here in the city of Harupa Valley. God bless you, Pastor Greg, once again, and we'll catch up with you next time. Have a great week in the Lord. Bye now.